inside an organized crime ring, targeting yet another car dealership. This time, the entire thing caught on surveillance video. You can see this is a professional job. Investigators believe this may be the same group that hit at least three dealerships in Oakland, Livingston and Jackson County in less than a month. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live in Pinckney tonight with a story you'll see only on Action News. Aaron. Glenda, I can tell you in talking to the owner, he tells me that these thieves were dropped off by a car way back there on that road. And then they came to where I am standing and started to target cars in these several rows up here, but they didn't hit every single car. That's because they believe they cased this joint and hit every other car. Let me show you what they did, just like I'm doing right now. These two thieves, they were kneeled down, working in tandem, working together with dark hoodies on, and they would go in between the cars just like this. They would try and jimmy themselves inside the car. If that wouldn't happen, then they would smash through the window. They would get the navigation system and bring it out. And talking to the owner, he tells me tonight this was not the only dealership hit this week. Uh, they're traveling about very quickly uh, down in this area and they smash. Here comes the glass out. They're just, they put their head in, take it out, and they're gone. Dan Hall showing us how two thieves broke into 45 cars on his Pinckney lot early Sunday morning. His surveillance cameras caught them in action, methodically kneeling in between cars, moving as a team, targeting navigation systems. What went through your mind when you physically were able to see it? Well, dollar signs. These two guys each had on a mask, covered in black, wearing dark hoodies, carrying what looks like duffel bags. They tried jimmying their way into these Chargers, Jeeps, and Ram trucks before smashing the windows. Sooner or later, they'll pay for their crime, and, uh, and I'll, I'll be fine with that. We're told investigators are trying to figure out if this case is connected to other similar cases in the last few weeks, including one in Jackson County, another at a Zot dealership in Highland Township this week. You can see the aftermath and destruction left behind from those smash and grabs. We knew by law enforcement that these uh, thugs were moving about, and uh, so we were all hit in a close proximity of time. We're told they moved fairly quickly. They spent less than an hour out here in this dealership and still were able to hit about 45 different cars. Of course, the owner right now has made a whole bunch of security changes to protect his $11 million in inventory out here. He also tells me, of course, he's working with police and also other dealerships in order to catch these criminals. For now, we're live in Pinckney, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. And other dealers may have to do the same. Aaron, thank you very much for that live report.